We have an animal health and welfare team that operates um, throughout Greater London and some of the home counties looking at licensed animal um, premises. Now we were talking about whether we should have large-scale commercial puppy breeding. Um, from where I sit, I'm interested in the regulatory side of things. I think the new regulations are written as a catch-all, um, so you get home breeding in some of domestic premises, all the way to large-scale commercial. We're looking at the, the thorny and quite wicked problem of how we provide sufficient numbers of puppies to meet existing demand in this country. There are welfare problems of large-scale puppy farming and how do we weigh those welfare problems against the existing welfare problems in the supply chain or should we just argue for something better altogether, uh, take a more purist view that dogs deserve better. Yet yeah, vets have uh, a primary responsibility to advocating for the best interests of animals and as we said in our discussion there, that's both to the animals under our care for each of us as individuals, whether they're on large-scale breeding establishments or in our surgery or wherever, so that we're actually helping as vets and vet nurses to make the world a better place for animals. Well, one of the issues, of course, uh, for years now has been puppy farms and whether you can actually properly safeguard the welfare of, of both the breeding stock and the puppies on puppy farms. But actually, if you look at the number of puppies that we need a year to simply complete the demand going so that we're, we're producing them, uh, you need some sort of large production process to do it. So the question was, can you do it properly and have good puppies that come out of it at the end?